This is Google Fiber Kiava reporting live with the Google Action News team right here from the lobby of St. Google Medical Center. With us today, this young lady has just given birth to her first child, a beautiful baby girl. And as you know, last week, Mayor Orman made this proclamation. So in order to prevail in the Google pandering arms race, I hereby decree that every firstborn male living within the city of Duluth shall henceforth be known as Google Fiber. That's right. Every firstborn female living in the city shall of course be known as Google at Fiber. Before we meet this beautiful bouncing opportunity to shamelessly curry favor with the good folks at Google, let's check in to see how the mother's doing. So, how are you, how are you feeling? Oh, motherhood is amazing. She's the most precious and wonderful thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, well, I know this is probably a silly question, but have you given any thought as to what you're gonna name the baby? We're gonna name her after her grandmother. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, are, are you saying that you, you think it's more important to honor your mother than to pander to the good folks at Google Fiber? Don't you think that's kind of selfish? Uh I should explain. Actually, my mother was named Googleette Fiber Swanson. It's an old Swedish name. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Because for a minute, I thought you were going to let the whole Twin Ports area down. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I would do anything to bring Google Fiber to the Twin Ports. It's just a lucky coincidence that my mother was Googleette Fiber Swanson. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Everyone in the Twin Ports is ready to pitch in and roll up their sleeves in an effort to win the Great Pander War to bring Google Fiber to Duluth. Isn't that right, Doctor? I'm sorry, I actually wasn't listening to anything you were saying. I was actually thinking about how everyone should go to GoogleTwinPorts.com and show your support for bringing Google Fiber to the Duluth area. I was also thinking that I probably left a pair of forceps in somebody's stomach. But mostly, I was thinking about the Google thing. 